Okay guys, I um, shortened this video down from about a 20 minute video to about a five minute video. Um, it's really not rocket science. As you can see, I have a 10 millimeter uh, socket and just a common screwdriver. Um, you have about 10 uh, push clips on the top in the valence up there. Um, once you get those out, there is a uh, just a pretty much a, a line of 10 millimeter bolts across the front grill. Um, you take that ring out and you're uh, you're ready to snatch the grill off. Now I can go through this fast because there's really, like I said, it's not rocket science, so really you can get through it pretty quickly. Um, once you undo your camera in the front and you, if you've got a squirter for to clean your camera, you'll undo those two things. Other than that, the grill pops off. Now you got a little insulation kit that has some nuts and washers and some butt connectors in it. Um, when you put the light in, it has studs that go through it and just make sure the light is centered in the grill. Um, the best you can. These um, these studs, just when you tighten them, um, all you have to do they're lock nuts, so they're not coming off. And the grill, I mean, the lights fit in the grill pretty pretty well. So just tighten those up just enough. Don't use an impact because those studs they tap into an aluminum plate, and you don't want to strip that out. So tighten the nuts up just to where. I mean, just to where they're snug, not even snug, just to where they take out the slack and, you know, you go to rotate the washer. You'll see me grab the washer to make sure that, um, you know, they're not too tight. So that's really all it takes. It doesn't take much. Um, you have a chance of bending the aluminum with the light in it or pulling the, the stud out, out of the aluminum housing. And then you're screwed. We don't want that. So, <clears throat> also we're talking about shortening these studs. It seems like they're a little long for some of the grills. So that's next step. We'll be shortening those up and you don't want to run into any issues to where they're hitting something on the truck. I just placed the lights over on the one side, the wiring, and then um, I'll add a, um, a pigtail to it. What I do always, and what you should do always, if you have a 12 volt converter from 110 to 12 volt, I just like to test before I put anything on. It's pretty disappointing when you get it on and then you, um, you know, some don't work. So on your truck, um, I recommend using the upfitter switch. If you don't have upfitter switches, maybe adding a switch. Some guys do wire it to the headlight. But I will tell you that on these, the headlights have different different layer, levels of brightness. So at night, they were brighter in the daytime, um, or actually they're supposed to dim at night and be brighter in the daytime. Um, my truck got taken in for a recall and they recalled my headlights and dropped the brightness of my headlights down at night. And when they did that, um, it shut my grill lights off because I had it wired into the headlight. And then I had to pick a different wire to tap into. So upfitter switches is the easiest way to go. For any reason you want to turn them off, you can. Um, it just makes it makes it simple. So if you don't have upfitter switches, like I said, you just have to add a toggle switch. Or you can wire it to your headlight. It's up to you. <clears throat> so once you um, hook it to the grill, um, hook that little wire up. The grill is so simple, man. I mean, you just pop that thing back in and then you have your, your upper layer of bolts. And before I bolt it, you can see, I checked to make sure they worked again um, and zip those 10 millimeter bolts back down and put the valence back on. Now you do have to unbolt the headlight and pull it out on the driver's side if you do choose to, um, to wire it into the headlight. You can email me. I have the the wire that I used, um, the color code um, for the driver's side headlight for 17 through 19, and that's the one I use on mine. I haven't added it to my upfitter switches yet, but I plan to. <clears throat> so. 
So if you have any other questions about these, um, feel free to email me and uh, I'll get right back to you. But there you go. That's it.